and then friends, unfortunately, what do we see Seventh-day Adventists doing in this very week? The same context, God's people deliver. Why? In one sense, the wicked will be bearing arms to kill God's people. And what are Seventh-day Adventists doing? February 27th, 2018. Headline, Hillary. Norwegian Union calls on General Conference to stop investing in weapons manufacturers. This is what the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists are doing. Doing what? With tithe money. Investing in weapons manufacturers. Read that for us. You can see it. Uh, <laughs> the Norwegian Union of the Adventist Church has called on the General Conference headquarters of this denomination to terminate all investments in corporations that produce weapons. The appeal was made in a statement by Norwegian Union President Victor Marley. The appeal follows the recent discovery that the General Conference has for years own shares in a number of weapons manufacturers. In the statement, Marley said that it was completely unacceptable for the Adventist church to own shares in companies connected directly or indirectly to the weapons industry. In response to these concerns, the General Conference's investment department said that as a general rule, it seeks a careful approach by having a highly diversified investment por portfolio with the denomination with different strategies with different strategies based on the best advice the church wow. can get who is advising the treasurer and the leaders of the general conference to diversify their investment portfolio and one of that investment is in guns, weapons, manufacturing. It says the General Conference's fund manager, Timothy Aka, stated that the denomination will not invest in companies that operate tobacco, alcohol, alcohol, gambling, pornography, meat, or caffeinated beverages, as they are not in harmony with the values of the Adventist church. Do you hear the justification? Mm -hmm. Let's move on. The general conference, the GC, has expressed a willingness to expand the list of industries excluded from the portfolio. Industries to be excluded will likely include the defense in the what industry? Defense industry. So when the heat has now been applied, now they are responding, they will likely include, to remove from their portfolio, the defense industry as well as entities with environmentally harmful activities. This man said... Climate change agenda. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, Duransen said that European Adventists have traditionally been very clear on their pacifist stand and find investment connected to weapons manufacturing companies, very troubling. The investment policy that applies to the Adventist denominations trans-European division prohibits investment in the weapons industry. In this statement, Marley told who? Norwegian Adventists. That they could be a prophetic voice, not only to the outside world, but also to who? Their own denomination. Go ahead. You know, I would feel better about this. It's good that the alarm is being sounded and Correct. that somebody is putting pressure, you know, on the denominational leaders uh, as far as that they should not be investing in weapons Correct. manufactured. But that doesn't go far enough. They should not be investing, period, mm -hmm. in anything. They should mm -hmm. not be using God's money in stocks, you know. Where in this Mutual Bible, in the, right? Where in the Bible, in the spirit of prophecy, is that found? Correct. In fact, it's prohibited. And not only that, I mean, we're talking about weapons manufacturers. Uh, weapons are used to kill, you know. But what about the abortion issue as Correct. well? You know, why? Why is there silence on that? Why is that allowed to 
be taking place in the Seventh-day Adventist church. That's and true. so you see, while they're saying that, well, we refuse to invest in tobacco and alcohol and gambling and pornography, you know, you're investing in weapons and you allow hospital, Adventist hospitals to carry out abortion. abortion. So are you for human life? Are you for the Sixth Commandment? <laughs> What's going on here? You see, friends, and that's why we're saying pray for our leaders, amen? We should not disrespect our leaders, amen? But when they're wrong, based on God's word, we drive the nail in a sure place. They are in apostasy.